Hey guys, and welcome back to A Queen of Creek. My name is Chat Chat. And one of the hardest things about being a Chad is that literally everyone wants to date me. You want to date me, your mom wants to date me, I want to date me. But that's too bad because your dating skills are only here and I'm a high level Chad all the way up here. It's okay though because I found a dude that can help you. And he has a TikTok account and a podcast. And if you don't know what that means, it means everything he says is true. What does it mean if a girl has no hookups in her Tinder bio? And the answer is it means absolutely jack. It's been a while since we watched this kind of content, so it's really important that we remember the alpha dating coach motto, which is don't listen to women and what they say they want. They don't know what they're talking about. Listen to men who are not in committed relationships and have more empty alcohol bottles than a Delta Kai house. Look at that, you almost finished your glass of wine. I am, um, yeah. You don't have another one. Okay. I, mean, I know the perfect spot. Okay, let's go. How do you script an interaction and it still be awkward? It's a good idea in general not to lunge at women. I couldn't tell if he was going in for a whisper or to perform one of those assassin neck crunch things. I know the perfect spot. Okay, let's go. I don't get why they didn't just do another take where they're not interrupting each other. This doesn't really exude confidence. So looks like you're almost done with that wine. Oh yeah, I was just about to finish. I know where you can get more. Wine. Sorry, what? I said I can, I'm really sorry. The music is, just, it's really loud. Do you want to go back to my place? I guess, sure. I mean, I still can't And that me. is how you get laid, fellas. Is he talking to us? What did he say? Who is that guy? I said that's how you get laid. I also hate these seats. Just look at how weird these seats are. So weird. The only seat I like is SeatGeek. This video is sponsored by SeatGeek. If you haven't heard of them, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super easy, whether it's for sports, festivals, or concerts. They take tickets from all over the web and put them here in one spot to make it way faster and a lot more efficient to find the best deals. I have the app here on my phone and it's very simple as far as how to use. You just choose the concert that you wanna go to, which for me is Lady Gaga, obviously. And then you just wanna look for the green dots because green means good, buy that ticket and red means stop, bad deal, don't do this. And then that's it, you're off to see Lady Gaga in person. And of course, if you wanna check them out, I have code ChadChad to get $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. So that's $20 off your first purchase with code ChadChad. And be sure to click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today and let's get back to the video. Oh, excuse me. I saw you walk and I thought you were really cute. I want to meet you real quick. Thank Alex, you. pleasure. Or you could do option four where you don't approach women who are walking alone in empty hallways. Wait, what's this? It's 2 a.m. and the hallway is completely empty and there are no people or cameras and it's very scary. Allow me to introduce myself. I saw you walk and I thought you were really cute. I want to meet you real quick. Why would your opening line be, I saw you walking? Like, I'm sure you probably did because that's literally what she's doing. Is the tip to just make a general observation about what they're doing and then use that as the pickup line? Because it sounds like Accusing almost. Hey, excuse me. I just saw you were walking and uh, don't fucking do that. This has got to be one of the funniest and most creative bios I've seen in a while. Females, I'm looking for a woman who will make me and that's M, make me dinner. A, appreciate the things I do for you. K, kiss me. E, eager to ask about a day. M, marry me. E, endlessly love me. C, capture my heart. You, make death do us part. M, make me Don't do this. If the word is anywhere on your profile, you should be banned from dating apps for life. And why do all of these requirements end with me? I know it's online dating, but aren't you supposed to give a preview of yourself and what you're like rather than how you want women to serve you? I mean, I guess in this instance it works because the preview is that you spent hours making an acronym about this is a pretty fucking perfect bio. This is a perfect bio. How could we miss this, guys? The secret to getting ladies is talking about our day. It was right under our noses all this time. This is a dating and self-improvement channel, by the way. I have this really bad habit that I would like to get rid of. I see. Okay, what is it? Yeah, so I just can't stop talking about my day. Have you tried talking about your day more? You're a genius. What can I say? You've come to the right place. How to playfully ask a girl that you're talking to from a dating app if she's actually overweight. So this is a text that's pretty funny. Uh, so talking to this chick, uh, making logistics. Awesome. All your pics are headshots. You aren't a secret fatty, are you? Hold on. Let me retitle this for you. How to be a fat phobic asshole. <laughs> playfully. Playfully. Now, that may sound a little crude, but it's also fairly amusing. Generally speaking, you get good reactions. Oh, geez, now that's a question. Oh, geez, now that's a question. Um, So you wrote this. There's no way that you aren't chatting with yourself right now. I swear he just has two accounts where he can make these example conversations go down exactly how he wants in totally unrealistic ways. Because there's no way that this interaction ended with him getting her number. Sound a little crude, but it's also fairly amusing. Generally speaking, you get good reactions. Of course you will, because you're texting yourself. 
What to do if the girl doesn't drink? So my general go-to is to invite a girl straight to my place for a bottle of wine or to meet her at a bar nearby. And again, I'm not a big fan of drinking either. He's not a big fan of drinking. I'm not a big fan of drinking either. So in that situation, my approach is simple. I just say, okay, cool. Why don't we go for a walk first and then afterwards you can come up for some tea or you can just invite her straight for tea or coffee anyway. So it's basically the same thing, but you replace alcohol with something that she can have like tea or coffee. Guys, if she doesn't drink alcohol, you should just like give her something else to drink. Maybe, I don't know. Subscribe for more tips on how to do obvious. So what should you do if you go on a date with a chick and she doesn't like chicken tenders? Now I'm not a huge fan of chicken tenders myself. So what I usually do is offer her some steak. You could do grilled chicken filet I think is a meat salmon ground beef turkey salami, how long is this venison. seminar two hours hey so what do you do for work I work in finance oh do you like it it's okay I guess have you been doing it for a while yeah oh is it hard to get a job in finance I mean not really do you think I could do it I mean do you like finance no, not really. I like how the bad example is him showing interest in her career. Don't ask questions. Questions make you look weak. I work for finance. Oh, cool. So you're like one of those badass Wall Street guys? <laughs> you can say that, yes. Oh, cool. I'm a male stripper. So it's very similar to your job. You know, you take, you take money off people, I take clothes off people. You don't want her to think you actually give a shit about her interests. <laughs> Do this instead. Are you Leonardo DiCaprio? I guess you could say that. Well, I'm a male stripper. I teach men how to get laid on TikTok. Do you really? Are you? Uh, why, would, why would I love you? He moves so fast and it's too jarring. He also cups her ear, like squeezes her ear as part of his seduction. It's like he stuck his hand out there without thinking about it first. Oh God, why did I do this? What do I, what do I, do I brush her hair? I, I could touch her cheek or, or I could, I. Is it beta to show your emotions around women? So the red pillars say, absolutely not. It's super beta, never show emotions. Ocean. And you know, a lot of the feminists or blue pillars say, oh, women love a guy who's super sensitive. So of course. So fellas, alphas say that it's beta to show emotions in front of women, but women say that women don't mind it. And they actually prefer men who can regulate their emotions. Who do we believe? I think again, the truth here is somewhere in the middle. You don't want to be the guy that's very emotional. That's always reacting to everything. That's kind of crying or just comes off as anything resembling a little. Or we could stop acting like emotions are gendered and accept that some people are more emotional than others <laughs> oh my god tyler what's wrong my mom just died in a house fire no, no no i mean why are you having a pink emotion right now what crying is a pink girly emotion and you're a guy so you're only allowed to have blue boy ones like unbridled rage is that a molotov cocktail in your hand no you killed my mom see there you go i'm like how about later tonight around 11 we can just hang out and drink wine i don't mean you people after 8 p.m baby i'm like well why is that too dark <laughs> I'm like, you do realize they have lights, right? She doesn't mean there aren't fucking lights. She means going on dates with men that you don't know is scary and you have to meet in a public, well-lit, open space for your own safety. <laughs> is he just imagining a woman who doesn't know what lights are? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, silly. I'm a light. Oh. And Jesus Christ. Talking to this girl, I'm like, well, the evenings are you free? She's like, this whole week coming up, I have job interviews, so probably the week after. I'm just really desperate with finding a job. Oh, good. Actually, according to a recent study, they found that- The dirty and squirty. Increased the prospect chance of getting a job by 69%. Yeah, I've just been really struggling to find a job so I can like support myself and it's been a really rough time. Yeah, anyway, do you want to bang? And she's like, hmm, maybe we should have some. So you can see this text is pretty effective. It's not a Pokemon battle. This is a serious conversation between you and yourself. In this one, he's actually rating another guy's Tinder profile. So I'm sure he'll give him some good tips on how to be more appealing, but in a way that wouldn't be damaging to his self-esteem. This guy's gonna get a grand total of zero matches. So this is the profile you don't want to have. And yeah, way too nice guy. This guy needs to grow out some face hair, put on some muscle, take off the glasses, take off the hat, get a better style, and stop smiling so damn much in every photo. Oh, okay. So he just has to change everything about himself. Your hair just needs to stop being like that, and your eyes are also weird. And that dog is ugly. Get rid of it. Put on some muscle, take off the glasses, take off the hat. He can't just get rid of his glasses. Like, people don't just wear those for no reason. And stop smiling so damn much in every photo. Also, imagine thinking that smiling in pictures is going to get you less dates. And I also have a dog. His name is Charlie. Here he is. Aw, I hate dogs. Why are you wearing glasses? Oh, um, to help me see? They're hideous. Throw them in the trash. Excuse me? You look fucking weird. Okay, 
I'm leaving. It's because I smile too much, isn't it? The power of persistence. So nowadays, girls have a lot of options. So what you want to do is you want to be persistent without being needy. Uh, say, cute, I almost don't want to ruin you. No response. Cute, I almost don't want to ruin you. Once again, no response. Okay, fine, ruin each other. No response. And a few days, a week later. So if someone, not just women, anyone, does not respond to four text messages over the span of several weeks, they definitely want you. They are so into you. You should keep texting them. He also has a YouTube channel where he invites triggered feminists to engage with him in very productive debates. You just said I was passive aggressive. You need to now tell me how you think I'm being passive aggressive. Like just in that statement, like your whole attitude is very passive aggressive. Like you're not directly yelling at me or cursing at me, but it's very much, it's like a passive form of aggressiveness. I don't know how to put it plainly than that. Even though it's just a trap for him to be able to call women crazy and passive aggressive in the thumbnails and get more clicks. So I'm gonna be proactive and say, I will not be participating in that. Thank you, even though it sounds very appealing. I mean, I think there's a reason the whole chat is saying, why is this chick being so passive aggressive? But I am a kind, gentle hearted woman and I wanna make things easier for him. So we'll just skip that part and I'll go straight to posing for his thumbnail. Gonna call it there guys thank you for subscribing and if you are still here thank you so much for watching i appreciate you clicking on my video out of all the videos that are on here and i'll see you next time okay bye